Listen very carefully and follow my instructions. Prepare your brain for the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast. I got to tell you, being an entrepreneur, I will not go through the rest of my career without taking nootropics. Aniracetam, paracetam, modafinil, nupep, uridine monophosphate. I mean, phenylparacetam, forget it. You can always have a better brain. The Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast is about to begin. Episode number 72 of the Cortex Labs Nootropics Podcast. I am your host. I am your nootropics information wizard, Ryan Michael Ballow. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for listening. Check us out on the web at livecortex.com, at livecortex.com slash blog, at livecortex.com, where we've got six powerful nootropic products that support this broadcast. Here they are. Number one, the Cortex stack. Uh, We've got a nootropic stack. It's called Cortex. It is exceptionally strong. We made it for motivation, mental energy, speed of processing, verbal fluency. Look, it's powerful, and right now, uh, and it, look, today is Friday, uh, April 6th. We'll be running this special through this weekend. Uh, you can get another bottle of Cortex for free if you buy one bottle. So buy one, get one free on Cortex right now. All you have to do is enter the coupon code get one. That is like I'm going to get one, get one bottle free, G-E-T space O-N-E. It'll register on our side. It'll The system will make it so that you're basically just buying one bottle, but that coupon code will register and we'll know to ship another bottle with your order. Get it at livecortex.com. We've got five digital nootropics books that teach you how to use nootropics, but have mostly they have stacks that are comparable to Adderall and high-dose modafinil in them. They're very powerful. Get access to those at livecortex.com. And if you need my help personally on anything related to nootropics, get a consulting package. It's a 40-minute call with me. 15 additional email correspondences, and it's 65 bucks. Okay, so, uh, and get all that stuff at livecortex.com, livecortex.com for powerful nootropic products. The best of the market, really. We really try to make our stuff super, super elite level nootropic stuff. Okay. So uh, I just want to quick run through an experiment that I've been engaging in and give you folks a little bit of insight into uh, the combination of pycnogenol, which is a, essentially a nitric oxide facilitating compound that improves blood flow uh, in the brain and also helps with glucose control, blood gl- glucose control, uh, and paracetam, which is a cholinergic uh, mediating uh, nootropic compound that's got a lot of studies behind it, a lot of history behind it. And, uh, you know, tends to improve memory, verbal fluency, uh, productive drive, work capacity, and a few other things in many, many people. So let's just talk about pycnogenol first. The first time I heard about pycnogenol, which is, again, this compound that is a uh, – I think it comes from some sort of tree bark. Yeah, it is a reading from the examine.com website. Pycnogenol is a patented formulation of pine bark extract that uh, works on improving nitric oxide to improve blood flow all over the body. And by the way, one of the things that it's actually known for is erectile dysfunction. So you can actually take it for erectile dysfunction because one of the issues behind erectile dysfunction is improper blood flow to the necessary areas. But the interesting thing about pycnogenol is that it's a nootropic in that regard and that, you know, you actually do notice some degree. I mean, I notice some degree of benefit taking it by itself in, you know, 20 to 50 milligram quantities in terms of brain function. It's just a little more fluid, brain's a little more fluid, you know, a little more active, open, aware, as if I've got a little more blood flow sending to certain regions when I activate them. So it's pretty cool. Uh, the combination, though, of paracetam and pycnogenol is something that I just wanted to sort of experiment with recently because we know that paracetam also improves blood flow to the brain. We know that it uh, facilitates uh, acetylcholine functioning in the brain, which will incru- improve focus and memory and verbal fluency and these sorts of things. And so the combination of the two, which is sort of an idea of mine, it's really something I've actually not put together before. I came across pycnogenol first uh, from the guy who built the Nexus nootropic stack, who also does the podcast Smart Drug Smarts. His name is Jesse. Some of you guys are probably familiar with him. And they brought a product out called Nexus, which has aniracetam and CDP coin in it and also pycnogenol. Uh, so that's kind of, I think, the first time I, I heard of it. And then a few other people have been talking about it in the nootropic sphere. And then I just sort of brought it in for a couple-week experimentation with paracetam and pycnogenol. Okay, so here's my dose, and then I'm going to talk about the effects and how you can you know, a- approach trying this strategy. Uh, my dose is 2.5 grams of paracetam. Okay, so 2,500 milligrams of paracetam. And it is 75 milligrams of pycnogenol. Okay, so it's for me, it's three capsules of 25 milligram pycnogenol that I have that I bought. I don't have bulk powder of it. 
and then it's 2.5 grams of, uh, of paracetam. Okay, so look, when I take paracetam in general, I get a fluid brain. My brain just works more fluidly. Everything sort of seems to work better. Uh, it's quicker, right? There's no gunk. There's less buildup and less gunk in my brain. When I want to think a thought or do something related to anything, verbal fluency, math, and something logical, whatever, uh, it just is a lot easier with paracetam. But it's not stimulatory, though. So I don't feel like you know, amperage turned up in like a stimulant would do, like anorastam, oxiracetam, uh, phenylparacetam especially. Those are those are stimulant like racetams and they they very much turn all systems of the brain up uh, and the stimulant effect up, almost like a, a moderation, a, a, a modified version of caffeine. But um, paracetam does not do that to me. Uh, so it's just sort of a good functional improvement over baseline, which is really cool because sometimes you don't want the stimulation. You can drink some coffee for that or take some theobromine for that or take some theocrine for that. And you just kind of want the functional benefit. Um, adding the pycnogenol to the paracetam brought in a much more of a mental clarity effect. Just a much more of a brain clearing effect. If paracetam didn't bring the brain to a point where it was completely clear, the addition of pycnogenol in it totally sealed the deal. And I, I got to say, I felt really good for a couple hours. I mean, three, four hours, I was really in a good place. Each time I took this, but especially the first time that I experimented with this combination. And I'm sitting there just like cranking workout, getting stuff done. I'm answering phone calls, like answering business calls and dealing with folks on the phone. And just every bit of that was so much easier than normal. And look, don't get me wrong. Normal, I've been taking nootropics for 10 years. I've optimized my brain in so many ways, right? I, I just, I make sure I do everything right. I eat a lot of salt. Salt seems to really help my brain function good. I am an athlete. I work out a lot. I need to replenish it. And so I sleep well. I do everything I can to hack my body to make everything work great. But it can work better. It's like it always can work better. And the fluidity and the functionality that I got from this paracetam pycnogenol combination was uh, pretty awesome. So now it's like on this thing, like now it's like uh, like with, I don't know, 10 other stacks. It's like up there with kind of my favorite stacks to take for all around good brain function. Now, how you can take it is uh, basically, I mean, you, you, you if you've not identified your dose on paracetam, uh, then look, you got to start with something like a gram and move your way up to four grams if you need to and see where you get a good sweet spot. See where you get a good fluid brain. See if you've got some verbal fluency benefits, some memory benefits, some focus benefits, etc. And then find your dose on paracetam, which works well for you, and apply that dose to the pycnogenol strategy. Like you don't need to take uh, any less paracetam or any more paracetam. Like in some instances, if you're going to stack aniracetam as an example with theocrine, and oxiracetam, you might want to medium dose the oxiracetam and kind of medium dose the theocrine because you've got very stimulatory agents right there. You don't need to do that with the paracetam pycnogenol strategy. You basically just do the same dose you normally do with paracetam. Uh, with pycnogenol, like minimally 25 milligrams is where I would start. Um, and just kind of see how it affects you and if you notice anything. And you can go all the way up to 200 milligrams on pycnogenol. And, and there should not be any significant you know, side effects or anything wacky going on. All right, so you can take up to 200 milligrams. Uh, but you know, if you just want a template to start at, start with my template. Go with 2.5 grams paracetam, 75 milligrams of pycnogenol, and see where you are at. What this might be useful for is absolutely if you're a college student, you need to study. Uh, take the stack. You know, if you're going to go and give a speech to somebody and you need like a lots a lot of verbal fluency and to feel pretty good, uh, take the stack. You know, if you need to, if you're going to go in some business meeting and you need to be you know communicative and be able to communicate with other people and remember a whole bunch of stuff you might need to say, then take this stack. You know, if you've got any otherwise like work to do that might require some degree of you know really putting in your your brain in a place where you're you have to push a bit. Like doing taxes or something, doing your own taxes. If you're doing taxes, you're calculating numbers and, and that sort of thing. And it might take you two hours to do it all. Then this would be a great stack to take. All right, so thanks so much for listening. I hope this has been useful. I hope I have given you a great anecdotal experience and some ideas about what to go and do. You know, combining things that improve blood flow with things that improve blood flow. Combining things that improve blood flow with things that improve acetylcholine functioning. You know, like along the lines of a lot of the, the other strategies that we have brought forth, 
Um, and one other thing that folks could even think about is bringing in vinpocetine, which is a compound that also improves blood flow and oxygen to the brain. That would be interesting with this stack, and that's something I might experiment with. Thanks so much for listening, everybody. Livecortex.com. Livecortex.com slash blog is where all these podcasts end up going. 230th or something uh, blog posts on that uh channel at this stage on youtube if you're watching this on youtube you already get it but check us out on youtube the cortex labs eutropics podcast or correction cortex labs eutropics channel we got we got to have like 400 videos on there just like everything you can think of from all the cholinergics to modafinil to adrafinil to like wacky stuff that no one talks about like sunifaram and unifaram which i've got crazy experiences on there after taking those nootropic compounds, uh, which I think folks can get a lot of va- value and benefit from. Uh, our products, look, again, remember the Cortex stack for a couple days is still on sale where if you buy a bottle, you can get a bottle for free. Okay, you, you, you get a literal another bottle for free of Cortex if you buy one bottle. You just got to use the coupon code GET1, G-E-T-O-N-E, at livecortex.com. And look, if you want stacks that are comparable to Adderall or comparable to modafinil or comparable to high-dose phenylparacetam, like with modafinil and a choline source, like you got to get smarter, better, faster. That's our digital book that gives you many stacks. You've got to get the Racetam God Guide. That's our digital book that gives you 80 or so of those kind of stacks. If you're a business person, we wrote a book for you that's digital that you could download right away and just gives you lists of powerful nootropic stacks that you can take. It's called the nootropic stacks for the business professional. Uh, if you're into aniracetam and want a whole list of powerful aniracetam stacks that'll light you up, get the beginner's guide to aniracetam. And if you want a whole bunch of Nupept stacks, if Nupept is your thing, we've got some crazy combos of Nupept and other nootropics that are the best in the book in a book called the Nupept Pro Stack List, which is also digital. All these you can download for like your phone or iPad, whatever you got. Get all that stuff at livecortex.com. And then again, lastly, if you need my help personally on any of this stuff, we've got a consulting service. 65 bucks, pretty pretty good price, right? 65 bucks once and done. Get your 40 minutes with me over a call, Skype call, 15 additional email correspondence to help you zero in whatever. If you need my help on finding a stack that works for you, shaving some things off your stack, whatever you need. Get all that stuff at livecortex.com. Thanks so much for listening, everybody. Rock on. Try the stack. Try some pycnogenol. Try some paracetam. Take them together. And email me what you think. Rock on. Talk to you next time.